This episode is brought to you by Indie Film Hustle TV, the world's first streaming service dedicated to filmmakers, screenwriters, and content creators. Learn more at IndieFilmHustle.tv. Right, and then and then you did your then you did a movie called Newlyweds, which was nine thousand, which was, you know, when I saw that, I was just like, wow, this is it's it's, a, it's an apartment, it's on the street, he's stealing all the locations, you know, it's just like. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, and, and it just and that one did extremely well as well, right? Yeah. Yep. So um, that's well, we knew when we finished Johnny, we had a blast doing it, mm-hmm. and then we, you know, we turned it around real quickly, and we saw that it was it was working. Um, I had just read an article about people who were shooting commercials on the five D. Mm-hmm. So, I, literally that day. I jump on the train, I go up to B&H on 34th Street, mm-hmm. I buy the 5D, I call my DP, Will, I said, look, I just bought this 5D, I saw this thing, why don't we shoot a scene tomorrow to see if this thing works? Right. So I had kind of an idea of something I wanted to do, I quickly wrote a scene, I called my buddy who owns a gym, I was like, we need to come over to your gym, I'll be there for an hour, and we basically, and I said, like, I'll play this personal trainer, and we'll shoot one half of the phone conversation as just a camera test. And that scene is in the movie. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. You never, what, never waste, not what not. <laughs> no. So when we, you know, we dumped it into, you know, my desktop computer after we shot and like, look at that. Holy crap. That looks good. Okay. Let's do it. So I just started writing then. And with, um, you know, you, when you reached, when you, um, picked up my book and you kind of found me, you were looking for distribution help and, and yeah. self-distribution help. What has stopped, have you have you gone down the self-distribution route just yet? Because there's a couple movies that I've, uh, Summertime and Beneath the Blue Suburban Skies that are, to my knowledge, I looked, I can't find them. They, have, they, have been, they haven't been released yet. What are you doing with self-distribution? Have you tried self-distribution? Because I think you would be an amazing candidate for it. Yeah, so I'll tell you, so Summertime, we actually did finally sell um, and we're in the process of closing that deal, so I don't want to talk about it just yet. Fair enough. Um, but, um, you know, Beneath the Blue Suburban Skies is one of my favorite films that I've made. Jennifer Ely plays the lead. I mean, she is so terrific. We shot, uh, you know, we, we shot on the red. Um, you know, we shot in color, but we knew we were going to turn it into black and white, so we'll lit it according for that. So it's in black and white. Um, a couple of years ago, I became obsessed with Ozu, a Japanese filmmaker from the 50s and 60s. Um, so, you know, I mean, at another time, we'll talk about that film because we had shot the entire film on, on a 40. We used one lens. Uh, the camera never moves for the entire film until the very last shot of the movie. Right. Every shot is a still photograph. Um, you know, I mean, a real interesting exercise in right. sort of discipline. Um, you know, again, I fell in love with right. his style and did all this research. I was like, kind of like with the 5D, I was like, I want to try this. This is kind of a, an interesting way to make an indie movie. So that movie went to Toronto. We got one of the best reviews I've ever got. COVID hit. And so it's just been sitting on the shelf. But that is the movie that we were thinking, hmm, do I... You know, do we try some form of self-distribution? But was the, is the, what's the budget? Uh-huh. I don't want to talk about the budget. I'll tell no, you. Of course. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. No. I don't want to tell you what the budget is, but is it a, I'm assuming it's not. It's under $10 million. Let's just call it that. Yes. <laughs> it's it's an under 10 million. I always tell people it's under 10 million bucks. It's under. It's it, my $35 million black and white sad drama where the camera doesn't work. <laughs> Right. I was about, that's uh, that sounds very. Really happy with me. <laughs> I think I think financially, uh, that's a smart move. I'm just saying. No, uh, lose money it's shrewd. It's, it's shrewd. It's shrewd. I'm just saying. Um, to watch the rest of this interview, head over to indiefilmhustle.com.